Shalom, 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 shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all the praises, glory, and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rachakotash, to honor to my elders and my apostles, the great bills, and the men that rule among who taught us his truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations, as always, be to the elect. All right. And the will the title will be Esau will be made bare. All right. Um, more specifically, talking about. You know, what you got going on with the recent controversy, you got the wars and the rumors of wars, which is what's going on right now in the Middle East. You got like you got Israel versus Palestine, you know, you got Esau trying to quote the Bible, you know, uh, Benjamin, not a Jew, quoting the Bible. OK, things like that, man. Um, but nonetheless, what do you have? You have Jake talking about, oh, you need to stand with Israel. If you don't stand with Israel, man, F you. You know, I forgot which Jake said that, but someone said that, man. You know what? You know what? Jake, uh, Israelite, said that, man. And the truth is that, you know, this man is going to make a man an offender for a word, uh, which is, you know, which I'm quoting this from Isaiah, the 29th chapter. But at the end of it all, man, he's going to, you know, shoot himself in the foot, man. He's, you know, the scriptures say he that dig at the pit shall father in because... What does he want to do, man? He wants to say that he is the Jew. You know, he is this, he is that. But soon he's going to be found out. All right? You got Jake speaking up for Esau. Esau over here talking about, you know, he's trying to quote the scriptures, trying to act like he's God's chosen. That's how he, that's going to be his narrative. Amalek, you know, the so-called J-O-O's, you know? They're going to paint the narrative that they're God's chosen people and all this wickedness, man. And You know, they're going to, they're going to try to, that this is where the controversy is, is going to really set in because what you're going to have, you have on one side, you know, if you don't stand with Israel, you're anti-Semitic and you're wicked and you're evil and you deserve to be buried under the jail and you should be put to death and things like that, you know? And you got Jake behind it and we're the main people that speak against them. You know, all their wickedness. We call it out, not just Amalek, you know, the people in our land right now, but every every other Every other um, Edomite, you know, we call you out. We call everybody out on their bullshit, to be honest. But nonetheless, Esau being made bare. Um, matter of fact, after I read this, I'm going to grab Isaiah 64. Be I mean, no, excuse me, Psalm 64, because the truth is that what he's doing now is going to cause him to fall in his own pit. Right? Isaiah 29, 20, for the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorners consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Right. Which is verse 21, man. That's what they do. You know, they make a man an offender for a word. You know, soon you won't be able to say, hey, you know, you there's people. There's a lady um, that lost her job because she stood with Palestine because America is with Israel. So us, what we're doing out here in the streets is, is treason to them. You know, it's high treason, even though it's, you know, the truth is that, yeah, we're the Hebrew Israelites, but they don't give a, they don't give a, 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 a damn, bro. They don't care about, you know, what you think. They don't care. This is their world right now. You know, that's why the teaching ought to stick to the streets in these videos. You shouldn't be going to your job talking about, no, we're the real Jews, the black, Hispanics, Native Americans. You look stupid, you know, because society is going to look at you like you're crazy. Right. But nonetheless, man, you know, now you're labeled anti-Semitic. You know, you're going to be made an offender over your words. And lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. That's us, man. They're laying a snare for us. Now, that you know, you got limits on. Well, I don't know if it's, in, you know, a thing yet. They're going to have limits on how often you can upload and things like that. We're going to have to use alternative uh, media platforms. We're going to have to, uh, you know, switch it up, roll with the punches. Right. He's going to eventually... <laughs> Lay a snare for us that teach out there in the streets, man. You know, somehow, some way, he's going to try to get to us, right? When it's time. It says, and turn aside the just for a thing of not right. He's the type that will throw justice away for nothing. You know, and pick pick wickedness over, over righteousness. You see? So, let's get the book of uh, Psalm 64. You know, and I'm going to read quite a bit. Because I'm, I'm going to read all the way down to... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna read down to eight because we're in that time, man, where Esau will be made bare, and it begins with 
him putting, well, I don't want to say it begins with, because the elders and apostles have been making him bear for years, you know. But one thing that we do know, you know, him being exposed on a super high level, you know, began with our elders and apostles and, and, and you know, brothers out teaching and things like that. But when this, e when this devil, you know, is pushing hard that he's the Lord's people, but he's continuing in his wickedness, it's going to just further expose him to be the devil that he really is. You know, and maybe not to the whole world, but to those that read the Bible and will be in the know, you know, they'll expose themselves. So I'm going to start Psalm 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, which they are the workers of iniquity, right? Sin upon sin, right? Who wet their tongue like a sword, right? Now that us is, uh, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily and say, who shall see them? Right? Because that's what they do, man. You know, they shoot their arrows at us. They shoot their, their curses at the Israelites. Different enchantments and things like that, right? Well, those enchantments aren't going to work anymore. You know? Um, our people have found you to be the devils that you are. You know, the, the, the different things that you promote. You know, and on a low level, like, people like uh, uh, these female rappers that are being promoted now. I remember when I was coming up, you had very few. But now you even got guys bumping these female rappers, and they're just, you know, it's an enchantment. Because, you know, all of a sudden they come out with millions of followers and, you know, a bunch of songs, which is complete BS, man. Their music, music is straight trash, talking about nothing but whoredom and wickedness, you know? That's just a, on a lower level. On a higher level, them saying they're the people and saying that you're anti-Semitic if you don't stand with Israel and all this crazy stuff, right? Well, according to the Bible, you know, y'all are the workers of iniquity. We're not anti-Semitic for speaking against you. We're doing what the Bible says to do, right? It says, uh, verse 6, they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both, their, both the inward thought of every, of every one of them and the heart is deep. But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Right. The ultimate arrow is hidden you as the missiles. You know, the scriptures in Isaiah 34 speak about that sacrifice in Basra. Right. I'm not going to go into that. But, you know, that's one one uh, one aspect of those arrows. Okay. But also, you know, the scriptures, like I mentioned earlier, that he that diggeth the pit shall father in. Because you want to get biblical now. Well, hey, Psalms 50 for your ass, man. You know, you're casting the words of the Lord behind you. You can't just bring the Bible out and think it's okay and think, no, no. The Lord's going to expose you on a higher level. It says, verse 8. So, sh so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Now, what's one way that, that the Lord will cause their own tongue to fall upon themselves? Well, for one, you know, you're out here talking, doing all these crazy things. Your own people are exposing you, Right? And we are as well on a higher level. You, you know, your works are showing forth you to be the devil and not the Lord's chosen people. Because what? You have war in Israel, right? According to the Bible, when the true people will be in the land, there will be no more war. All right? You know, you killing people lets us know that you're not the Lord's chosen. You see, because what? According to the scriptures... When Israel's in the land, we would come and learn of you. How come no one's come to learn of you? How come there's no peace in the world? How come the the how come the the lamb, all right, isn't dwelling with with uh, carnivorous animals? You know, and I'm quoting, I'm referring to Isaiah 60, where it speaks about the kingdom, right? You know, the leopard dwelling with the lamb and things like that. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. I could be quoting that wrong, but it's true though. There would be complete peace on earth. You know, what about an Israelite child touching a venomous serpent? And not being bitten. Right? How come that's not happening? How come that prophecy isn't being fulfilled? Because you want to bring out the scriptures, right? Uh, not a Jew. Talking about... I don't want to say which one he quoted because I forgot exactly. But, you know... Hey, nonetheless, man... You know, the more they... The more the wrong they do, the more they expose themselves. Esau will be made bare. I'm going to end with this. Jeremiah 4 to 9 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Right? It says, um, Leave thy fatherless children 
I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, which is us. It, was our, it wasn't for us to drink of that cup, but we did. We drank of that cup of slavery and that judgment that we received, the curses that fell upon us, right? It says, And art thou he that shall go altogether unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, right? Now it's your turn. Now you have to pay. But like I said in verse 10, you know, he has uncovered his secret places. The Lord has taken that veil off of the people, man. You know, some people don't know exactly what nation you are in the Bible, but they know that you're wicked. You see, your works show, show it forth. You know, you got Israel bombing the piss out of the Palestinians. Um, the land, that land right now, and it's just crazy, man. They're taking out um, innocent people um, for allegedly getting one guy and things like, you know, crazy stuff that they're justifying, man. They're just, you know, they're madmen. You know, and Ishmael is supposed to be the wild man. You know, Esau is the, you know, the, the pinnacle of wickedness, man. This man is bloodthirsty. You know, they love to bomb people. And and it's okay because the Lord is going to show even more and more that you're just found out to be the wicked. Because according to the way that things are moving, you're not on the right side of prophecy, Esau. You're, you're playing your lot as the wicked in the story. You're not showing forth that you are the righteous that you claim to be. You're not showing forth that you are the children of light that you want to be and claim to be. You know, you're showing forth that you're, you know, the wicked with your actions and the way you're moving. But nonetheless, man, you know, Esau will be made bare, you know. Uh, right now you got the um, the different controversies and he's the one that's, you know, bringing forth these laws that, you know, he's going to bring forth laws. You can't talk about them. Right. Things like that. You know, this is, you know, th all these actions, his actions are showing him to be out who he truly is, the Edomites. Esau, Edom. Okay, so Lord's will is edifying. Uh, I want to give all the praises going on to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Machak with Dash. That honors to my elders and my apostles, great millstone, which are the men that rule well, the men who taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations.